This episode is how to apply stickers on your boat for names, logos, what have you. And it also works on cars. When we went to the sticker shop, what they gave us was this. So now Herbie has the fun task of doing each individual sticker. Okay, the first thing you need to do is clean the area. So you gotta get it wet. If you ever try and put stickers on a dry surface, they're gonna stick instantly, which sounds great, until you realize it's not exactly where you wanted them, and they're stuck, and it's, there's no getting them off. You're gonna get dirt trapped under them, air bubbles. It's not gonna go well. So, I'm gonna wet the whole area. Get it all clean. I've already cleaned this area. But after you finish rinsing it, you're gonna take a sponge, and some Dawn soap, just a little bit so that the sponge is uh, sudsy. You're just gonna wipe down the whole area. That's just gonna put a thin layer of soap, which is gonna make your life so much easier for the rest of the process. With that on, the next step is to dry fit, even though everything's wet. So you keep it in its packaging and you're just gonna set it where you want it and make sure that it all looks good, it's gonna fit. If it's not gonna fit, this is the time to adjust those things, not after you've started. So, the way this stuff works, you have the sticker which is printed, it's in vinyl. They cut it out of a sheet and this is the back of the vinyl sheet. This is just a transfer matrix that they stick onto the sticker so that you can peel it off and get it onto your things. Now these come clear, they can look like masking tape. That's not important. The issue is you need to peel it off and it needs to stay on this guy. So, to do that, you wanna set your sticker face down and any spots where you have tiny little points, that's where you want to start because those are the hard ones to get uh, later. So if you can start on them, your life is so much easier. So what you want to do is hold the backing matrix down and you want to pull it back at a sharp angle. It's going to make sure that the sticker doesn't lift up with it. So now the backing paper's off, you just have the transfer matrix. To make your life easier, just in case it like folds on itself or something like that, I'm gonna take your soapy sponge and just lightly wipe with it. Now you're not trying to wash the glue off, you just wanna give yourself a little bit of working time while you're working here. So now you're just gonna get positioned. This is where a second person comes in. Yes, they are your eyes for the distance. How's this look, honey? You're gonna need to move your left hand to the right there okay. and that should be good all right so when you're test fitting just put on with your hands don't do anything too much pressure because this way it's lightly stuck so you can now step back see if you like the way it looks so now you're going to take a rubber or spatula scraper thing these are what they use for vinyl stickers and you're just going to push really hard now this is going to squeegee out any air bubbles that you have and that soap lets the air bubbles slip out. If you don't have soap, it is stuck on and permanent. Now you're just going to lift the backing and just hold the sticker down with your finger. Now if you're doing small graphics, you don't need as much soap and then everything sticks a lot better. But when you're doing big ones like this, soap it up. In the United States, often you'll find a backing made of paper, which means you can just wet it and it'll slide right off. Yeah, but here in Europe, they like this plastic one. So usually in the States, what we would do is you put it on, wet it, and then just wait, and the paper backing would actually just fall off, and the stick would be stuck behind. It was really easy. Uh, but when in Rome, Use our products. Right, now, any little bubbles you have, just take your little squeegee and just work them out.
When you're doing a compound decal, you want to remember that you're working from the back to the front. So you don't want to put, for example, in our logo situation, we have a vein that goes over the leaves. You don't want to put the veins first because the leaf's going to cover it. So you just want to make sure that whatever you're doing, you go from back to the front. Step one, wipe area with soapy water. Step two, peel off the backing at a sharp angle. Step three, apply a thin layer of soapy water onto the back of the sticker. Step four, carefully and gently adhere the sticker onto its place on the boat or car without pressing down too hard in case you need to make adjustments. Step five, use the spatula to push hard and adhere the sticker permanently onto the surface. Step six, Gently peel away the plastic or paper on the back of the sticker while holding the sticker down with your other hand. And finally, step seven. Use the spatula again to smooth out all of the air bubbles in the sticker, lifting up the sticker if necessary, and then smoothing it back down. trick if your spatula is dry and it kind of like holes when you run it put it on the soapy sponge and then it'll run really easily This one's pretty complicated, but there's an easy way to it. So if you notice, all the pieces are sweeping this way. So if you try and peel from this side over, you're going to be fighting each one. But if you go from this side and peel it off, it'll all just peel off with it. So that's uh, an important thing you want to make sure, especially if you're working with a font that's got a lot of serifs or a lot of little intricate pieces that come off. See if there's a, an easier way about it where you're going with the things instead of against the things. And voila! Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.